Can you see me? Good. Now, I know this is going to be like a really weird angle, but you have to see my legs because it's important that you see them. Okay, so as you can see here and my girth that I've built upon COVID, uh, I'm not comfortable, not really comfortable. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and go back a little bit here. And we're going to find that. Now, it's a little bit easier with powered seats in some cases because you can do it slow and everything. But for the time being, this is what I want. All right. Now, I want a nice even bend, a slight bend in my knee. I don't want a 90 degree bend. I don't want to be standing, sitting all the way out trying to reach for the pedals. I want to be able to rest my foot on the pedals and be able to transfer back and forth comfortably. Next up, can you see? Oh, okay, cool. Looking at my arms, I want a slight bend in my arms. There, you can't really see them, but there is a slight bend there, okay? So this is a comfortable position for me. This is very, very important. Now, we wanna look at our mirrors, one, two, three, and we want to adjust. Let's go to the right one. You can't really see the right one from this angle, but you want to put the passenger side. Oh, <laughs> start the car. So these are power windows or power mirrors and pretty much every modern car has them. So you're kind of out of luck. All right. You should be looking at the back end of your passenger side door handle so that you can eliminate the the uh, blind spot and then over here you should be looking more at your back rear handle objects in the mirror do are closer than they appear in that that's so that you can get a much wider uh, sized view of what's going on Letting that off. All right. This mirror should be able to see the entirety of the rear window at all times. You use this for changing in the dark so that headlights, it has a slight reflective bend so that headlights don't bother you as much. Many cars have an automatic tilt. Uh, I miss mine. I loved it, but oh well. Now, this is not how you see in reverse. It's not how you see in reverse. In reverse, you take your hand, you go all the way back to the behind the passenger seat, and you push yourself to look out so that you can see through one window, two window, three windows. That way you can see if, uh, if there's anybody coming behind you now one of the best things about modern cars is that backup camera but you don't rely on the backup camera this is why the backup camera is wonderful it makes sure that there's nothing below the back of your car that you can't see like a small child on a tricycle that's what the backup camera is for you want to make sure that you're not backing up over something that you can't see out the window. You do not rely on this and this. Because through here, you can see through the back window. You cannot see through the other two windows on the sides. So, going into this, we have our knee, we have our arms, we have our mirrors. Next up is going to be your sun visor. The sun visor does not come this way, ever. It goes this way and then brought down to match what you want to be able to see. It does not go like this. So you don't just sit here and go like this and then you're good. Here's the problem. 
I'm going to push against this. Now, you see, I'm pushing against this. I'm going to show you in a second just how hard. I am pushing against this with the bridge of my nose. Now, you should be able to see like a pink mark. The point is, is that I'm pushing against this really, really hard. It's strong enough to break my face in a car accident. But here, once it gets past that breaking point, I hit, I hit another car. Everything's fine. Now, in modern driving, and I agree with this completely, because from here, from 9 and, and 12, or, wow, from 9 and 3, this is how you're supposed to drive. That's because there's an airbag in here. Driving like this, the airbag can catch underneath your wrists and make your hands hit your face. Driving like this, the airbag will miss your hands and you're less likely to break your hands and your face. The problem with this is trying to drive hand over hand. Now, you're supposed to drive like this while driving straight, but if you're going to be turning, you can slip back up to here. People are walking past. They're like wondering what I'm doing. So, um... That covers the steering wheel. Now, going back to this, this is a poor, poor example because this has reverse, neutral, drive, and brake. Uh, anyway, or battery, probably, where it's locked in, but you can still access things. Um, this is a poor example. Usually you have like one, two, D over D, stuff like that. And your ones and twos, you do not drive over 35 miles an hour. They are for inclement weather for and for, um, I believe, towing. But you do not drive on the freeway in one or two. That's a great way to ruin your transmission. And this is, this is pretty much lesson one. This is pretty much lesson one, is simply getting in the car and making sure that it is set for you and a few safety things always wear your seat belt it really does a lot more good than it ever does harm if you're really really worried about you know this yeah i was gonna say you know basically they have tools that you can worry about with um hammers and whatnot that have little blades that hook in and slice the seatbelt if you really need it. Now, let's see here. All right, so this is going to be pretty much lesson, this is going to be lesson two. I'm going to I'm going to just start this up right now. Why not? Oh, that's why not. I don't have my multicolored electrical tape. All right. I'm going to put a link below and you can order this. You don't have to get this, but I mean, it's really nice to have Um, black electrical, or not black electrical tape, but multicolored electrical tape. You can also do this technically with scotch tape, or you can do this with, uh, some scotch tape and maybe some string or, or something like that. But I want you to be able to do like lines. I want you to be able to stick lines on the dashboard. Okay. So I'm going to leave it off with that. I think I don't have it on me. I actually just ordered it. I completely forgot, but I'll put a link below if you want to get the same stuff that I got. It, it has multiple purposes, like, you know, electrical stuff. <laughs>